When I publish my Springboard Microservices video series on YouTube, some of the subscribers ask me, what is my IntelliJ IDEA setup looks like? What is the theme I use and what are the plugins that I install to make my Java development easier? So in this video, I'm going to explain how do I set up my IntelliJ IDEA and what are all the plugins that I use for my day-to-day -day work for working with Java based applications. I have installed JetBrains toolbox from which I can install any of the JetBrains IDEs like IntelliJ IDEA, Goland, PyCharm, WebStorm, etc. So here I have installed IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition, but whatever the plugins or themes that I am going to show, they are equally works well with the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition as well. So here I have installed IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and then I opened the IDE and this is how by default it looks like. I am using uh, dark theme. But here, uh, if you see the icons are a little darker and not very colorful, but I like it to be a little bit more colorful. So what I do, the first thing is I go to plugins and I install Atom Material Icons plugin. Uh, I already installed it. I just want to enable it. So now it's going to ask me to restart. And once it restarts, you can see now the icons looks a little bit more colorful here you can see uh, the folders are looking a little bit more colorful and based on some names it is going to show different icons also here you can see deployment and it is showing some little cloud uh, related icon and also for my docker compose files it is showing these docker icons so like that uh, based on some naming convention it shows different icons here for my maven palm.xml it is showing this maven icon for markdown it shows this markdown icon so it's uh, it would be a, a little bit pleasing to my eyes and similarly if you uh, take a look at the source code of uh, any java application so here you can see uh, this is a record so it shows in a, a different icon it's a class it shows in a different icon so like that uh, it also differentiates uh, various so here it is a interface so it shows uh, with a different icon it's an enum and it shows in a different icon so it is not uh, mandatory but to my eyes it looks a little bit pleasing so this is one plugin that i install here i have a bunch of microservices and i'm using maven as the build tool usually palm.xml xmls may look a little bit verbose with all the xmls and everything so i am using a plugin called laconic palm for maven let me show it to you so here i am using this laconic palm for maven plugin i have already installed it and once i install this one when i open palm.xml it looks like this so some of the elements are um, collapsed but still you can see what are the contents of it like uh, let's say here are the dependencies so here though it is collapsed by default it is going to look like this and when you use this plugin it is going to be collapsed and still you can see what is the group id and what is the artifact id and if you have configured the version also it is going to even though it is a placeholder it uh, derives the value and then it shows what is the version value also so this uh, pretty much reduces the feeling of uh, okay palm is very verbose and all these things and uh, still you can see what is the group id artifact id and all the details as well so i think it is uh, pretty good for uh, maven users the next plugin i use is inline problems let us see the plugin list and here if you see there is this inline problems plugin and once I install this plugin, if there is any problems in the current file, you can right away see it here. For example, here I have configured this dependency and there is a problem with it and it is going to automatically show. Um, you don't have to go to problems view and then see it. It shows right away in your uh, current editor. So here it says there is a transitive dependency with some CVE, so you can right away see it. So in the same way, like in your Java code, if there is anything that you can uh, clean it up, for example, here we have an import that is unused. So uh, it right away show this uh, kind of a warning here. And also if you are uh, creating some unused variables or unused methods, so right away you can see uh, these warnings and you can take immediate action. So I think it is uh, pretty helpful to see these warnings and immediately act upon it. 
In addition to these plugins, I also use few other. Let us see what other plugins I use. So here I have .env file support. So if I am working with a project where I am using .env files, this plugin provides some syntactic highlights and all. So I use that. And when I write content using ASCII doctor files, I uh, use this ASCII doc plugin. This is going to be really helpful to immediately uh, see the preview and all. So this is uh, very helpful for writing ASCII doc based documentation. And also I use um, a few other plugins here, Grazi Pro. This comes bundled with the IntelliJ IDEA itself out of the box. And this is really helpful if you are writing a lot of content and it also shows some improvements in your writing and if there is any grammatical mistakes it highlights them. So if you are writing a lot of content maybe in readme files or uh, any other files it is very helpful. And we have JPA Buddy. Uh, if you are using JPA either directly or using Spring Data JPA, this comes with a lot of uh, utilities where it can improve your productivity uh, working with JPA. And also use make files. Sometimes I use Go. Uh, I can use GoLand, but if I open any Go project here um, and want to write make file or run it, uh, this is kind of a helpful. And also I have few plugins. Uh, installed but I enable or disable them based on the project need. So if I am working with Mapstruct which kind of a generates a mapper uh, code from one bin to another so this is kind of a helpful and also I have Scala plugin usually I use Scala earlier I used to use Scala for writing Gatling based uh, tests um, but once in a while if I want to tinker with Scala this I enable it and then use it and then I disable it and also I have Sonar Lint if I am using a project and then I am using mostly uh, Sonar Cube or anything uh, tool like that, I enable this so that I can right away see the uh, uh, violations before even uh, pushing the code to uh, GitHub. So I use this Sonar Lint plugin. And kind of a, that's about it. I don't use a lot of plugins. I use only a handful of them and then that is good enough for my day to day work. So in addition to these plugins, when it comes to theme, um, earlier I used to use dark color that looks like this and then I recently I started using dark theme. This is kind of a looking pretty good to me. So I am using currently the dark theme but I kind of a like light theme especially when I am trying to give a presentation or things like that. Usually when people watch um, in their mobiles and all. Uh, light theme looks much better than dark theme. So I by default I use dark theme and also I make the font by default it is set to 12 or so but I change it to 16. That looks good to me. So this is pretty much my IntelliJ IDEA setup and this is looking decent for my day to day work with Java. So let me know what other plugins or uh, themes that you find very good and maybe I can try out some of them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.